Okay, well, the next question we posed, and I don't have a lot of room here, um, is take the statement slope equals 3. Okay? And now write that in terms of 5, negative 4, x, and y. Well, right here, we've written slope in terms of y, 4, x, and negative 5, right? Or, well, we've written slope in terms of the quantities that we started with. So we just, instead of slope, we write what the slope is equal to, which is y plus 4 over x minus 5. Okay. And this is the equation of the straight line through 5, negative 4, with slope 3. That's it. It's the equation of the line. Do a little algebra and put it in different form. You can put it in slope intercept form. You can put it in standard form. You can do just about anything with it. Okay? Now, how about another statement? Distance equals Actually, I think I kind of used that somewhere, yeah. I'm going to use a different distance. Distance equals 7. Okay? So how would you write that? Well, the, if we're, again, in terms of this, the only distance that we've calculated is the distance between the points, right? The distance, yeah, we could say it more specifically, the distance between 5, negative 4, and x, y is 7. Okay? Distance equals 7. That's the distance between these two points. Well, what's the distance between the points? It's this. So this is the square root of x minus 5 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 7. Now, when I asked people to write that down, about half the class did, and half the class wasn't sure what was going on, or wasn't sure what they were supposed to do. I think a lot of them had the idea, but maybe were afraid to write it down, okay? Uh, but that's it, okay? Or we could actually uh, square both sides of this equation. The square of the square root of something is just that something. So if we square both sides, we're going to get x minus 5 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 49. And this turns out to be, well, this describes the condition for the point x, y to be 7 units from this point. What's the set of all points that are 7 units from this point? Well, that's the definition of a circle. It's a circle of radius 7 centered at this point. So this is an equation of the circle. Of radius 7 center, just about out of room, center at the point 5, negative 4. Okay. Then I asked everybody at the end to write down um, an equation of a line through negative 3, 4, with slope, was it one-third? Two-fifths. Okay. 
And what do you do to do that? Well, you got your point negative 3, 4, you put a point down here, you put a point out here and you call it x, y. Now, maybe the slope of this line is 2 fifths. The slope of this line wasn't 3, that would, would have been a lot steeper. But the picture still allowed me to write down the equation whether I wrote, whether I drew it accurately or not. So you want to try to draw it accurately so it makes sense. But even if you don't, like I did here, it still works and gives you the equation. So, and this is not going to be completely accurate either. Uh, if that's 2, this looks more like 3, so the slope would be closer to 2 thirds. But that's okay. Okay, so what do we do? Once we've labeled, once we've put these points down, we draw the line here and we complete the fundamental triangle, just like I did over here. <coughs> and then this side is x minus negative 3, which is x plus 3. And this side is y minus 4. And I didn't draw the arrows because we were short of time. We had a little glitch with getting copies of the chapter to people. Um, okay, so anyhow, this is actually a displacement, this is actually a displacement, and this is the rise from this point to this point, and this is the run. So the slope is, no, oh, there goes my chalk, the slope is rise divided by run, y minus 4 divided by x plus 3. Okay, now, the distance because we're going to go ahead and find the distance, even though to answer this question we don't need it. Just for practice, we're going to write down the distance, and it's going to be the square of this plus the square of this, and then the square root. By the Pythagorean theorem, there's your distance. So if you needed to do something with the distance between negative 3, 4, and x, y, you could. It turns out that the question didn't involve that, didn't require that you do the distance. Just to ask you for the equation of a line through this point with slope two-fifths, so slope is two-fifths. So, well, there's the slope, so this equals two-fifths, and there's your equation. That might not look to you like the equation of a straight line, um, because you're probably used to other forms. But just by doing a little simple algebra that we'll look at soon, uh, we get it into the standard form. Okay. Then we have the question, the equation of a circle. If its center is at 7, negative 3, and the radius is 4. So we just automatically, we got 7, negative 3 is the center. We got an arbitrary point out there that's got to be at a certain distance. We call that point x, y, and we have our point 7, negative 3, and we do our fundamental triangle again. So this side or this displacement would be x minus 7, and this displacement would be y minus negative 3, which is y plus 3. So our slope is y plus 3 over x minus 7. And if we wanted to write an equation of a line through 7, negative 3 with a given slope, we would just set that equal to that slope. Okay. The distance is, well, square this, square this, there they are, square root sign, and there's our distance, which is the length of this hypotenuse. And we would probably label that, didn't take the time to do that, um, and probably should have done that up here. Um, but you saw it when we did it originally with the fundamental triangle, so um, you should know that. Okay, so the circle through this well, with this center and this radius, what do you do? You know, you put the center down here, and then you set your compass at the radius, and you do this, and you get a better circle than that, but you get the idea. And every point out here is at distance 4. Okay, the equation of that circle is this. It's just a statement that the distance equals 4. The distance from 7, negative 3 to any point x, y is this. And of course we could square both sides and get 